What's up dudes, welcome back to part 3 of learning to hack with Linux. Uh, in this one we are going to be doing level 3 of Bandit. Uh, do remember from last time, if you've been with me up to this part of the series, um, go ahead and pause the video right here. Go ahead and take a look at Bandit level 3. I've got the URL right here. Um, go ahead and take a look at it. See if you can solve it by yourself first. Uh, and then you know come back once you solved it or if you can't and you can check out how i do it there are different ways to solve this so if you even if you have solved it it might be helpful to come back and and see if i did it in a different way so level three let's go ahead and jump right in remember i am also doing this live uh, i haven't done this you know before the episode so you're going to be able to see all the research that i do and the thought process that i go through in order to solve this so uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and open up our terminal. I am already logged in to Bandit 2. Um, if you are wondering how I got here, the previous episode is up here in the corner. Go ahead and check that out. Um, so, logged into level 2, we are looking for the password to level 3. So, let's get it. Level 3 says the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. Okay, let's take a look then. That's all the information we get. We get some, we get some basic commands that we might need and we get a Google search that might help. But as is the tradition, we are not going to do the research first we are going to try to solve it first and then we will come back to the research if we need it so let's go ahead and open up our terminal and start off with a good old ls and we can see here that we have spaces in this file name and that is the file uh, we can see that it's not blue so <clears throat> we know it's a file but as per the theme here, we're probably not going to be able to open it for one reason or another. But let's go ahead and give it a try just to see spaces in this file name. Go ahead and hit enter. Cat spaces. No such file or directory. Cat in. So it, what happened here basically is that cat tried to cat a file called spaces, which didn't exist. And then it tried to cat a file called in, which didn't exist. And then it went through each of these and tried to cat each of the words that we put in, which is not what we want. We This is a single file. So what do we do? If we try file, cat spaces, or sorry, <laughs> cat spaces. If we try file spaces in this file name, it's going to be the same thing it tries to run each word as its own file um, so I'm at a loss here I don't know what to do um, we'll go ahead and do the research and see what what we can find so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the recommended Google search that they recommend which is spaces and file name. And we're gonna scroll down here. I always like to find either Stack Exchange or um, Stack Overflow. Very, very good resources to go to if you, if you have the option to go to them. Uh, so this one is space not allowed in a file name. Um, well, I mean, it seems like it's allowed, but it doesn't work correctly. So this answer, top answer, 54 upvotes, seems reliable. Let's see what it says. Spaces and indeed every character except for slash and null are allowed in file names. The recommendation though is to not use spaces in file names because of the danger that they might be misinterpreted by software that poorly supports them, such as cat or uh, file, it seems. Arguably such software is buggy, but also arguably programming languages like shell scripting make it all too easy to write software that breaks when presented with file names with spaces in them. So it's not really an, uh, like a, an actual issue with, with Linux, it's more of an issue with 
the programs that are trying to read these files. Um, space is replaced with percent %20 is not often seen in file names. That's mostly used for web. Um, so this gives us a decent explanation, but it doesn't give us a solution. We learned a little bit about file names and, and how spaces are supported in them, but how do we how do we solve this let's go let's go to the next one let's see spaces are allowed in file names as you have observed so again i'm not seeing any solutions oh but look at this so this he's got a code uh snippet here and He's got some weird syntax here. So there are spaces, but there's these uh, these backslash characters as well, which might give us a clue. Um, so let's go ahead and see. You could include white space, as this creates the need for quoting with quotes, but this is inevitable since spaces are allowed. So <clears throat> how do you use or deal with a space in a file name correctly? In a shell slash command line context, which we are in, wrap the file name in single or double quotes or escape the spaces with slash or backslash. So there are multiple ways to solve this, it seems. So let's go ahead and try it. So it says wrap the file name in quotes, double quotes or single quotes, or you can escape the spaces. So let's try both of them. Let's go ahead and cat, and then let's wrap spaces in this file name in single quotes and see if it works and indeed it does we can try the same thing with double quotes and we can see that that works and then we can also try this uh, odd looking one which is backslashes so backslash space in backslash space this backslash space file name and that also works. Uh, the backslash in Linux is a special character. It's called an escape character. And what the escape character does is it will uh, interpret the next character as a literal character instead of a part of a command. Um, so in this case, it's interpreting the space as part of the file name rather than uh, signifying that the in word is the next command um, or cat to interpret. So we got our password here. Go ahead and make sure we copy this and paste that into our level three password. And let's take a look, make sure that it works. We always want to make sure that we got the correct password before we you know move on to the next one so we go ahead and exit press the up arrow to get our previous ssh command backspace for bandit 3 hit enter paste in our password hit enter and there we are level 3 we are ready to go and try to solve level 4 in the next one go ahead and i'm sure that i have it out by now um It'll probably even pop up like right here in the corner. Uh, so go ahead and continue on with your Linux journey. journey. And until next time.